Do you want to make a fancy jacket like this? Then stick around and I'll show you how I used a blouse and a jean jacket to make this beauty. For this project, I found the jean jacket and the blouse at a local thrift shop. I wanted to make something a little edgy and I knew these two were meant to be together. Cut the arms off the jean jacket and fray your armholes. You can find the technique in the last video. Select the shirt you want to use for this project. What I like to do, because I'm so eager to see this work together, is to hang the two pieces on the same hanger and take a photo. This keeps me motivated to keep going when the project gets tricky. Here's the shirt up close. I love how the flowers are embroidered onto sheer material. I truly love lightweight fabric, perfect for Seattle summers. Be sure the shirt armholes are the same size as the vest armholes. If they're smaller, don't cut on the seam, but cut extra into the shirt itself so that your arm has room to stretch when you have it on. With the sheer material especially, I'll fold and baste stitch to reinforce the edges. Next, I'll match the top and bottom of the armholes and pin into place. I'll also match up the side seams and pin into place. Then I'll continue pinning in between to get ready for the basting the two pieces together. Basting allows me to adjust the sleeve to ensure it fits well. Using the open arm on my machine, I carefully stitch the armholes, checking the needle every few inches to make sure I didn't catch anything that doesn't belong. I also made sure to remain between the jacket's original double stitch lines. The navy blue thread that I used became virtually invisible. For the embellishment, or the new applique, I took my time with all the flowers available to me. I placed them where I thought they might make the most dynamic statement. I considered placing them on the collar, but decided against it. They're a bit too feminine for me, and the current arrangement gives it almost a vintage tattoo feel. It makes it edgy. I pinned the large piece on the back and stitched it with my open arm machine. It was a nerve wracking experience. If you can stomach the stop, starts, and under the needle checks every 20 stitches, then have at it. I may hand stitch it next time. I also left the edges raw on the applique because I wanted to match the vest's frayed sleeves. This keeps the overall aesthetic consistent. Another great thing about this shirt that it included a ribbon at the bottom hem. I cut a little more than I needed to stitch it to the bottom of my new jacket. I also stitched a buttonhole so the button on the jacket would pop through. You might have thought this was all well planned. I continued distressing other areas of the jacket, including the lapels. I love this jacket more and more every day. Without fail, I get compliments every time I wear it. So what do you think? Share your supportive thoughts below. Stay tuned for the next project where I show you how to make this sparkly jean jacket. Until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified when I drop a new video. If there's a project you'd like to see me create, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for stopping by.